how to integrate ClickUp with Notion. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to connect your favorite uh, project management or uh, the task creators or whatever you can name it on a Notion into your ClickUp uh, workspace. So it is going to be a very easy step. Uh, before we've had a no connection between uh, those so we have any the third party apps like zapier to execute some automations and etc and also you can go ahead or you've had the option to connect your notion uh, for, to click up directly from here but today or the last update that have been implemented into ClickUp, we can go ahead and have the notion integrated into the apps we're going to head over clickup.com then we're going to see uh, here the dashboard after you have connected your account of course now what we're going to do is to click on the uh, quick action menu and from here we're going to head over the app center click on app center and you're going to type on the search bar as you can see here at the top we're going to type in notion and you're going to find your app in here with the um, title and also with the official logo so it is going to help you to preview create and search notion database all within a click up so it is going to be a connection for the databases to be shared in the platform of ClickUp. so let me show you here the features that you're going to get we have here three major features the personal connected search which is going to be on the business plan you need to upgrade to get that specific feature it will help you to search both public and private files from your connected account you can go ahead and preview notion links in ClickUp. so the uh, link previews allow you to see live synchronized visualizations of links directly in ClickUp. so instead of heading over notion and see a link you can go ahead and visualize it on the notion or not the notion but the ClickUp app also we have the app panel and task view so view links from Notion from a central place in task view. Now, for the commands, we have two commands. Open Notion, quickly launch Notion with a just couple of keystrokes. Also, we have create new Notions page. So you can go ahead and create a Notion page and also connect the data that we have on ClickUp. Now, what I'm going to do basically is to click on connect. Uh, so this is the first step. I am going to tell you that it is going to be only on the personal account because we have here a personal account on ClickUp. If you're going to be interested on the workspace, it is going to be also created for workspace. I'm going to use in my case, uh, my account only. So we are going to make it uh, here personal. I'm going to click on connect. We're going to wait in here until it is going to have the request. Maybe you're going to get some bugs at the beginning, but it is going to work out. So these are going to be the permissions. We are not going to change any of the permissions. We cannot also click on select pages and we're going to have the private and also the uh, published uh, pages. So I'm going to maybe remove the private. If you are going to have the uh, notion integrated within ClickUps, so you need to count that it is going to be maybe not a public but it is going to be a shared account so you're going to have your team working out or your collaborators working with your account so maybe they are going to get a hint or some uh, get some important links that you have into notion keep that in mind and you're going to be okay now i'm going to click on allow access we're going to wait for the authorization to load up and we are going to see the account connected now uh, we are going to wait i think that the account has been connected so i'm going to make sure and click on connect again and i'm going to click on select pages select it allow the access please work out I think that I, they have uh, made the access in here so it is connected now you can go ahead and uh, satisfy yourself by having only one account or you can go ahead and have uh, much accounts by clicking on connect another account right there now what i'm going to do as you can see i'm going to let you see that we have also documentation on how we can use notion so you can have here documentation that will 
um, guide you through the commands and also the automations that we can have how you can install it how you can have everything in here now I'm going to exit in here the uh, app so we have fulfilled our task of connecting notion now I'm going to let you see how we can have the commands over notion from the dashboard from anywhere on your uh, workspace or your account on a click up you can go ahead and press control K and it is going to show up the comment center. This is the comment center of ClickUp. So as you can see, everything that you want to run a comment for is going to be in here. So as you can see, I'm going to have the apps. So you can go ahead and see that we have the apps. Also, we have everything. So we have the whiteboards, the, uh, as you can see, the imported, the response to the clients and etc. Now I can go ahead and type in Notion, for example, and we're going to see every command that we have. We have the create new Notion page, which is going to be a command, connect Notion or open Notion. So this is going to be uh, something that we have uh, viewed or uh, read before on the connection. You can go ahead and click on open and it is going to open up your connected open or the connected notion account now this head over here click on control k or you can go ahead and click on search bar and it will open up the command center type in notion again notion and we can go ahead and click on create new notion page so we are going to have the parent page for example we are going to have here the publish release notes Put the title an emoji, for example, I'm going or I'm going to put an ebook maybe. Click on create and you're going to see in here. So here as you can see, you can copy the URL, create another, as you can see, page, open in a new tab. So I'm going to open it in Notion. So this is the new page that we have open. So aside from that, I can go ahead and head over again, and then you can go ahead and sort or set up the filters as you can see and based on the filters database you can go ahead and have the notions so for example if you're going to have here a list or a filter or a sort you can go ahead and have the notion added from here and it is going to filter up the databases from notion that you have added in here so basically it was uh, going to be uh, a simple step to have nothing is going to be complicated and also i did forgot to mention that we can also have some uh, here um, automations added so if you're going to head over your let's say here the project or the workspace of ours I can go ahead and click on automate and create a new automation and from here I can go ahead and head over the apps and normally you can find the notion app if you do not find it that is going to be uh, maybe a, a question of updating so in our case we do not find it and it is okay maybe in the future they are going to implement the automations so aside from that you can head over your notion account and start having the tasks or maybe the a project that you are going to have on the uh, team spaces and then you can go ahead and import it or have it into your uh, click apps so here aside from uh, these uh, specific uh, tasks we have nothing complicated and nothing is going to be wow in here so you can go ahead and have your uh, command center as i have mentioned before you can add the notion or type in the notion or search for the app uh, in here i think that it is not going to be the case so you can go ahead and put slash and then you're going to have your command added so for example, we are going to have the um, notion. Let's see here are the commands. These are going to be the notepads. So it is going to create a note, not on notion, but in here. And it is going to be the case right there. Basically everything is going to be related. Uh, you can not have much connections or much tasks added or uh, put through the connection between those platforms. Is going to be only be a specific uh, right there database connection and information getting from the platforms. 
So it is going to facilitate the access to the two platforms in the same time and not separate. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.